Welcome to the visualization and analysis software, ClueCore Omics Explorer. This program is used by scientists all over the world and cited in over a thousand peer-reviewed articles published in high-impact journals. ClueCore Omics Explorer makes data analysis easier and faster and improves the exploration and interpretation of complex multi-omics data. You obtain results with just a few mouse clicks. And the program includes a range of powerful tools and statistical filters, but is still very easy to use. The visualization options are extensive, and you can select from a wide range of plot types. ClueCore Omics Explorer allows you to be your own data analysis expert. You can use this program for a wide range of tasks. Create new hypotheses through data mining and exploration. Find discriminating variables and visualize the results with a few mouse clicks. Maximize the experiment outcome by utilizing public data and system biology tools such as gene set enrichment analysis. And use the NGS module to analyze and visualize genomic data in the genome browser. Customers use the ClueCore software on many different data types. Examples are gene expression, RNA-seq, and microarrays, single-cell data, proteomics and metabolomics, and many more. The program has a number of built-in pipelines for data import. There are many ways to import data generated from your own pipelines and public repositories, and the program supports many file formats. In part one, we will investigate and explore a data set with the objective to identify new subgroups. We will start by using a sample PCA plot. Here, each sphere represents one sample, which in this case is a patient. The methods we will use are variance filtering to reduce noise, temporary removal of groups, principal component analysis and TISNI plots. Note the instant response and how the plot is updated as the slider position changes. We can see that the data splits in at least two groups. To record the new knowledge about the new group, we create a new annotation. To further refine the analysis, deselect the most dominant group. We could continue to identify more subgroups in this plot, but we will instead continue the analysis using the TSNI plot. Here we can easily find more groups. The TSNI plots are useful when you have a large number of samples, as for instance when working with single cell data. At this point, we have identified several new groups in a very short time. Both data and plots can be exported and saved in many different ways and can also be used in publications and reports. We will now use the built-in statistics in Omics Explorer to find discriminating variables. We will work with two synchronized plots, a sample PCA and a heat map. The plots are colored according to the annotation we are using as a base for the test, leukemia subtype. Various statistical methods are supported, such as ANOVA, two-way analysis, and regression. We will use the t-test to identify the genes that separate the subgroup E2A PBX1. The slider defines the p and q value we require. Now we identify the variables with the lowest p and q values by moving the p-value slider. And we can also filter on fold change. Note that both plots are updated simultaneously. At this point, we have identified around 100 variables that are best at separating E2A PBX1 from the other groups. The discriminating variables are directly available in the list in the variable panel. Make a copy of the list and save the results and you have a good foundation for a report or publication. You can choose to add various columns to the list such as Q values, fold change, and other annotations. Another way of undertaking statistic analysis is to use the biomarker workbench. Here, you can run all of your tests of interest in batch mode, enabling you to quickly test many hypotheses in parallel and saving time. When we press run, the tests are immediately processed. And in the results view, you can quickly identify the most interesting tests and variables. Then you can easily export the results. 
Another key feature is that we can quickly identify how clinical annotations correlate with each other by adding all annotations as response variables. The results from the statistical test can be further analyzed in a biological context. In Clucor Omics Explorer, there are many ways to do this. One example is to use the Gene Set Enrichment Analysis Workbench. Here, we have performed a GSEA analysis and identified enriched pathways. Pathways of interest can be further investigated and visualized in the main plot window. Another part of the software is the NGS module. It consists of pre-processing module that, for example, can call variants, normalize RNA-Sec data, and do peak detection on chip-Sec data. The results are visualized in an interactive genome browser, and easy-to-use filters and selections help focusing on interesting areas. What you have seen in this short video is just a small part of the available functionality. To summarize, use Clucor Omics Explorer to improve your research and help your lab and organization to get the most out of experiment data. The best way to find out how Clucor Omics Explorer can change your way of doing data analysis is by trying it yourself. You can download a free trial and you can also attend our free online courses and webinars. Enjoy!